this video I'm going to show you how to install AdAware. Uh, AdAware is another good spyware program. Um, it's at one point it used to be the best out there in my opinion anyway. Uh, in recent years it's still very good but not my first choice. I actually malware bytes is my first choice but um, it, this will still find some spyware that other programs won't find and so it's still a very useful tool and uh, you can download it from uh, a link on our site under the helpful links which is cnetsys.com so we'll go ahead and install this we don't want Google Chrome you may <clears throat> Now, as with any spyware program, again, it's only as good as the definitions that uh, you have on it. And so if it doesn't know about the spyware that's out there, it's not going to find anything. So make sure that you update this and any other spyware program that you use to the latest definitions so you have the strongest chance of finding what spyware is out there. Um, also, there's no governing body behind the spyware companies. Uh, like there is for virus software. Virus software, if one company finds it, they let the other companies know so that everybody's on the same page and so that um, any virus program protects against all of the known viruses. Spyware companies, um, or the makers of spyware software, uh, they don't do that. What they do is, if they find something, they keep it as their trade secret, unfortunately, and don't let the other companies know about it. And so you'll find that uh, different spyware programs find different pieces of spyware. None of them find 100% of it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, restart the computer and run AdWare once it restarts. Okay, when we clicked on restart, it actually started running the update manager. And I just want to show you that this is normal. It's going to go ahead and update it, and then uh, it should actually... Um, reboot the computer and then we'll continue on with our uh, spyware sweep with AdAware. Now AdAware is also going to load on a piece that stays resident in memory. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't think that it, it does as much good as uh, it says that it would. Um, and so we actually, once we run AdAware, let it remove what it's going to remove, we'll go ahead and uninstall AdAware. Uh, programs like Malware Bytes um, they don't load anything in memory, and so we keep those on the system. Uh, SpyBot Search and Destroy is another one. We'll keep that on the system as long as you don't install the T-Timer with it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it having something resident in memory, um, especially the free versions, because I think they'll give you some extra advertising there um, and prompt you to buy them. So typically we'll install this, run the scan, and then we'll go ahead and uninstall it when we're done with it. So we'll let this continue to uh, do its update, and then it'll reboot, and we'll pick up where it leaves off. Okay, so our computer is now rebooted, and it's telling us to uh, register or buy a license, and we're just simply going to close out of here because we're using the free version. And what this is going to do is uh, it's telling us this is a new version of Adware. We're just going to keep continuing on. Um, we want to go ahead and make sure that we have the latest version, even though it's already done an update, we're going to do this again. And it's going to go through and make sure we have the latest, the latest information. And it actually looks like there were updates, and it's going to go ahead and restart AdAware for us. should load here in another second or two and then we'll get on with the scan. So down here you'll notice that there's also a uh, add aware button and what this is is this is going to be the um, the live scan or the live watch and this is the reason that we uninstall some of these uh, spyware programs. I don't want the live watch or any other uh, memory resident portion of these free spyware programs to stay in memory because they tend to 
um, just bog down the system rather than do any real good. And so when we're done running our scan, we're going to go ahead and uh, uninstall AdAware. And so we've done our update. Um, it says that the live protection's on, which is fine for now. We're going to go ahead and do a system scan. And this isn't going to have a ton of options for us, um, but like with most of the spyware programs, we're going to go ahead, let it run. It's going to run and scan every uh, file that it wants to, every file in the system, and we're going to blindly remove whatever it finds. It, um, in the spyware software that we use, I never find false positives. If it says there's an issue with something, there's typically an issue with it, and we can blindly remove it. So we're going to let this go ahead, do its full scan, and whatever it finds, we're going to remove. Now, this is a clean PC, so it's not going to find anything, but if it does find something, it would populate down here. Again, there'd be checkboxes with it. We'd make sure everything was selected and then remove everything. Sometimes AdAware says that it can't remove everything and it needs to rescan on reboot. We can go ahead and let it do that. Uh, or if necessary, we can go into a safe mode and rescan with AdWare in safe mode and try and remove it that way. Again, if you still can't remove it that way, you can always contact us and we'll help you out. Um, and all the links for all the spyware software that we recommend is on cnetsys.com, C-N-E-T-S-Y-S.com. -E